hello guys once again welcome to my channel this is isaac and this morning we're going to be demystifying between wordpress.org and wordpress.com we have realized that a lot of um, beginners confuse the two terms thinking that they are the same thing there's a major difference between wordpress.org and wordpress.com and this hour we're going to be looking at it in less than five minutes so let's go WordPress.org is the most popular platform that houses over 80% of every website you see online today. So let's see the big difference between these two terms. When it comes to hosting, that all is self-hosted. No one can delete your site as long as you are not doing something illegal on your website. You are in full control when it comes to .org. So it's a CMS. Just download it into your website and use. Why .com is hosted by .com free, by WordPress.com. They can delete your site at any time if, you, if they think you have violated their terms and conditions. But this particular one, everything is in one place. .com. Everything is in one place. And, um, you are limited to your hosting plan. They have to host it for you on their channel. That's number one. When it comes to costing, .org is a free software that you can use to build your website by downloading it for free into your website. .org is a CMS software you download it into your website. Web.com, we it actually has a free version, but it is limited. You have to upgrade to premium version to unlock some functionalities. I remove the WordPress.com extension. That's the domain extension that comes with the free version. So the other one, you have um, .org. It's a free one. You just download it into your own personal website and begin to build. But .com, you have limited version. Once you have the free version of it, it will come with what? WordPress.com domain extension. Except you upgrade to the premium version before you can use it. When it comes to customization, you have full control over customization in .org. You can source for external materials like SSL, your team and your plugins, if you are not okay with the one the platform has provided for you. But when it comes to .com, you have uh, limited customization options. You are only limited to the one that the platform can provide. So, .com has limitation, .org has no limitation. You have full control over customization. When it comes to team, you have access to all things and plugins. You can source for all you can source for team from external sources as well. Like you can go to Team Forest and get any team you want and come. But in .com, you are limited to to selected team and plugin. You can only make do of the ones that is being provided. In the dot com platform you can go to external sources and bring in team and use when it comes to maintenance as well you are responsible for your own website maintenance when it comes to word.org you can add additional functionalities and security from external sources in, in your dot org website but when it comes to dot com maintenance and security are right are done right in wordpress.com platform you, you are limited to what it can only provide meaning you cannot go to external sources and get the security you want you cannot maintain it from your own personal um platform like your own uh, hosting platform it is the one they have provided for you they will do the maintenance for you they'll do the security for you so you are limited to what only they can provide on the dot com platform but on the but all you are responsible for your own website maintenance. You can go source for your security from other places. Your SSL buy it and, and install. Look for such secure ones and use. When it comes to monetization as well, no restriction on monetization. When it comes to dot org, but dot com, you have limited monetization options. I'm telling you. I let me do of the kind of monetization the dot com want you to do. But well, when it comes to dot org, you are not limited. I think in dot com self, you can only monetize if you are using the premium version. 
Mato.org. The free version has the monetization um, platform that you can use. When it comes to e-commerce method, that is the business aspect of it. You, you can use .org to do it. That is even the major one. The free version can give it to you. Very flexible and very free. So it supports e-commerce along the way. But .com is limited. You can only use a e-commerce version with the one they are provided with the limited option when you are only on premium version. So you can see the difference. .org is flexible. .com is not. It's limited. Even the premium version is also limited. But in .org, you're flexible, you're free when it comes to e-commerce. Support method. <laughs> You can get support from community when it comes to .org. You understand? The other users of .org uh, WordPress will give you the support you need. You can ask other guys using the .org WordPress because it's a CMS. But .com support is only available on the platform. When it comes to these two terms, you can see that .org is more flexible, not one that many people are using it, than .com. So don't confuse it. So when you said, okay, I want to install WordPress on my channel, what you are trying to tell us is that you are installing WordPress.org on your channel, on your platform, on your hosting plan for you to use it to build your own website. You are, fle you are flexible to use anything, external sources, external, external customization, external teams, external SSL is being supported by .org. But when it comes to .com, you are only limited to what WordPress.com can provide. You cannot go to external sources and source for external content. So with this little explanation of mine, you have seen the, the, the big difference between .org and .com. And as a website designer, I will advise you to go with .org so that you can be limitless. Thank you.